Your cell phone bill can be pages long, extensive, detailed, boring, so it's often easier to just pay it without looking closer. The problem is you and millions of other Americans could be getting gouged by unauthorized charges. If you have a cell phone, then you know how expensive bills can become. Extra minutes here, too much texting there. But hidden among the lines of charges are sometimes fees you're paying for services you never receive. Well, basically cramming is the practice of third, third party vendors adding charges to your telephone bill without your authorization. Cramming is a billion dollar a year industry and consumers are largely unaware. Even when they are, telephone companies aren't helping, according to the Senate Committee on Commerce. Unauthorized charges for voicemail services, ringtones, and other services are showing up on bills. Know what your phone bill needs to look like and be checking that phone bill consistently. It's a nationwide problem that's affecting cell phone users right here in the Permian Basin. Fonda Wicks, for example, says her husband doesn't know about cramming. Oh, I think he just looks at the total and pays it. Emma Madrid, on the other hand, takes a closer look now that she's been crammed to the tune of $600. Very frustrating. I told him, I said, I'm not paying something that we didn't use. Shows up and you're just you're just thinking to yourself, what is this charge? Yeah, I've seen it before, but there ain't nothing I can do, nothing you can I do. think. Actually, you might want to think again. To protect yourself, you need to understand your mobile service plan. Keep a close eye on monthly statements. Add third-party bill restrictions to your account. Watch out for free trials or sweepstakes and know where to complain. Well, no, I just never look at my bill, but I'm going to start. Meanwhile, others are dialing up some anger about the cramming. A shame that they do that. They take advantage of people that don't really understand what they're looking at and don't know what to look for, so sad. A report released by the Senate Commerce Committee surveyed 500 customers with third-party charges on their bills. Not a single person said those charges were valid. Reporting in the studio, Bo Berman, CBS 7 News.